Hi, I'm Matt Clark here with TweetPages.com, and I'm here to explain the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. TweetPages. So you're ready to start your blog, and you're wondering, what is WordPress? WordPress is a blog publishing application. Now that lets you publish blogs. Simple as that. What is the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org? That's the question we're going to answer. Think of it like this. You want to eat dinner with a group of friends. So the question is, who will host your dinner party? Will it be at a restaurant or at your house? .com is like eating at a restaurant and .org is like eating at your home. Both have advantages and disadvantages. When you go to a restaurant, you eat their recipes. Of course, you have a choice. You could get steak or chicken or seafood or even a salad, but you can't hand them grandma's pot roast recipe and see if they'll cook them in the kitchen. Nor can you run in the kitchen and cook it yourself. You can only order the choices on the menu. Now, when you eat at home, you can cook whatever you like for your friends, even if it is a grilled cheese sandwich or leftover spaghetti, or better yet, spinach like they in the van. Either way, it's your choice. A com is like having a dinner party at a restaurant. They host the party, and you have limited choices on the menu. WordPress.com allows you to host your blog at their website. But control of your URL and choices of blog styles are limited. .org is like having a party at your house. You host the party, and you can have whatever you like to eat. WordPress.org allows you to host your blog at your site. You have control of the URL, and the choice of blog styles are limitless. Let me break down some of the differences. .com, they host your blog or dinner party. .org, you host your blog or dinner party. .com, the URL would be yourname.wordpress.com. At .org, your URL would be whateveryoulike.com. .com, you choose from over 60 pre-made templates with little or no customization. At .org, you choose from over thousands of pre-designed templates with minor to medium customization. .com, no custom blogs allowed. .org, you can customize until your heart's content. .com, the cost? Well, you can't beat it. It's free. .org, the cost is simply the domain name and hosting, which you pay monthly or yearly. Now, like I said before, WordPress is a blog publishing application. So a .com, the word publishing application, resides on their servers. They host it. Whereas .org, the blog publishing application, has to be installed on your servers. So if you'd like to start with WordPress.com, you just sign up and start blogging. Now, if you'd like to start with WordPress.org, you actually go there and download WordPress, which is the blog publishing application, and host it on your server. Either way, once you sign up and you're ready to go through .com, or you've downloaded and installed it on your servers through .org, you're ready to start populating your blog. Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Matt Clark with TweetPages.com.